Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you. It is time for a good old TNA pay-per-view. All right, when we do some TNA prediction videos, I got to go deep down. I got to pull out my buddy from back in the day, good old Danny. Oh, phenomenal X here. Hey, say what up, everybody. Man, it took forever to get this deal done, but it's finally done. I am back on Stevie Breach's channel. Yes. I'm going to do this. Yes, all right. Well, well, TNA is rolling off of what I think was a great pay-per-view. Well, a great pay-per-view main event. Uh, they're, they're rolling off of uh, the good old lockdown pay-per-view last year. Uh, or, I'm sorry, last month. They, they blew off the big feud between Bobby Roode and James Storm. And uh, you know what? Uh, Bobby Roode beat James Storm so bad that it looks like he's all done. And uh, they had to go out and get a number one contender. Rob Van Dam, they dusted him off. They put him back out there in a title match for no apparent reason. And uh, that's where they're going. What do you think about this, Danny? What do I think? I think it's uh, time that RVD gets his title shot. You know, he lost it and he uh, never got a rematch. So it's about time. He didn't even lose it. He got beat up in the back by Abyss and Janice, like, which seems like two years ago, honestly. And I can understand if you want to say that this guy's never been beat for his title. But he's been doing jobs, you know, month in and month out around here. Plus, we haven't seen RVD on TV since uh, he got laid out on a pay-per-view a couple months ago. He's been nowhere to be seen, and he just walks in, and he's the number one contender again. You know, what's next? Are we going to be wondering when Bobby Lashley is going to be turning in that number one contendership that he won in that tournament? <laughs> yeah, man, uh, they put Gunner over him, so uh, I don't know. I guess he deserves a shot. I mean, I was hoping that he would come back the rumors but i guess he doesn't want to give up the weed you you put over gunner you you deserve something and this is it i guess you get put in the main event somebody's got to do it all right let's run this down when i do tna pay-per-views i figure nobody cares so we start at the beginning and we work our way down uh main event bobby Roode, rob van dam this is tna world heavyweight championship it is a ladder match who you got danny uh, bobby Roode, no question he's gonna drop the belt at bound for glory to uh storm Oh That's my gosh! Yeah, this is this is just you know uh, just uh, just the little pay per view that gets you there. I mean, you might as well not even have Bobby Roode in a match because I think it's pretty obvious what's going to go down. No way in the world. RVD, you know, we hope to see in WB as sooner than later. Uh, no way he wins this match. I don't even know why you put him in, this in a ladder match. I think you just put this in there because you're just hoping that it's going to get you some buys. But uh, I don't think anybody out there is really thinking Rob Van Dam has a chance. Uh, from there we go to what I guess is the number one contendership here, um, uh, or one of the matches that could be. Uh, you have Kurt Angle and AJ Styles wrestling in a singles match. What do you think about this? Uh, we've seen these guys wrestle like a thousand times. We know it's going to be great. I don't think it's going to be anything new. It's just something to put on the card that, you know, two guys that don't have anything to do. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But who you picking? Who you picking? Who you got? Uh, who am I picking? I got Angle, man. AJ's been cold for like two years now, so I don't know. I'm picking AJ Styles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the, uh, the dark horse here. I'm thinking that uh, I'm RVD's a, a one shot wonder, and uh, I, I think they're gonna need somebody else for him to fight uh, for uh, Slammiversary next month. And uh, I'm going to pick AJ Styles, so that way you get, you can put Styles and Rude back together, even though they, they fought at a pay-per-view a couple months ago, because I don't think they're going to want to go heel versus heel uh, with Rude and Angle. Hey, man, whatever buys your travel package. Oh, uh, that's next year. That's the next year. All right. Uh, <laughs> For next, we go to those coveted TNA World Tag Team Championships, Samoa Joe and Magnus. What a, what a championship team they are. <laughs> Going up against the, the former members of Fortune, uh, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. Is this two, two uh, heels or what? What's going on here? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's TNA. They just play spin the bottle, and that's all they got around here. Uh, this match has potential. I can see it, but you know, it's probably not going to be that great. You know. I don't know. I, uh, I, I don't know. Samoa Joe and Magnus as, as tag team champions just seems as a way to sort of make Samoa Joe happy. I don't I don't really know. You know, Samoa Joe is a guy that, you know, has a huge fan base, but just TNA hasn't shown him love and, and at least I can't even remember the last time, you know, he was showing some love on there, but um I don't see them dropping the titles, but I I see this honestly being a good match. Yeah, you know, three guys in there they can really work real uh 
real well and have worked well in the past, and I don't think Magnus will bring it down. But I'll, 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 I'll pick the champions that keep rolling. Well, they faced, I know they faced the machine guns in the last pay view, and that wasn't that good, but uh, uh, yeah, I got the chance. Yeah, what was the deal with them, you know, you know, bringing back the machine guns, giving them all the, the hype, and then, you know, it's just one shot and they're done. It doesn't seem like, you know, TNA, it doesn't make any sense. You know, you, you want to bring them up, yeah. you know. The tag team division should honestly be built around the machine guns. They win one, they, they lose one shot at the titles, and they're nowhere to be seen on this pay-per-view. It doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, from here, uh, in another match that sort of could be uh, one of the matches that's picked as a, the number one contendership match. Sometimes they don't like to uh, come out and announce those till the match is already uh, over, and then they announce that that person who won is the number one contender. But uh, Jeff Hardy uh, against uh, the man that uh, TNA has honestly forgot is on the roster, Mr. Anderson. Uh, I would guess two faces going at it, so what's up with this? You know, I think these guys, they, they've had a feud in, uh, what was it, 2010. It was pretty good. So, uh, you know, they can have a good match here. But, you know, you know Jeff Hardy's going to go over here. No question about it. I don't know. I think they're going to pull something uh, pretty weird. I think that's why you got these two guys going up against each other. I'll pick Mr. Anderson. Uh, I've, I've been liking to call him the dark horse, the man that's often forgotten. So, so I think they put these guys together for a reason. And I think somebody is, is going to go over Hardy. It, it, it's... Been a while since he put somebody over in what wasn't a championship match, and I, I don't think it's going to hurt him. And Mr. Anderson definitely needs some help to work his way back up the card. So you see a heel turn, even if it doesn't matter. Oh no, no, no heel turns. No, 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 nobody's turning. Yeah. Just, just one guy moving his way up. Um, then we're gonna go over. He won face so many times you can't even count anymore. Hey, you also won the title and lost it on Impact twice. So hey, you never know what's happening with this guy. Um, uh, Austin Aries, Bully Ray. Man, just a normal singles match. Um, no titles. Uh, I guess he, uh, Bully Ray couldn't fit the uh, X Division style. But um, wh what you got going for the? I think. Two of the uh, Austin Aries, one of the best workers they have in TNA right now, and Bully Ray, one of the best. I don't want to say the best workers, but one of the best all-around guys. The guy can talk, deliver yeah. a promo. His matches are, you know, better than better than good, but just not great. But I mean, like, you got to say these are two of the guys that are, you know, pulling most of the uh, most of the weight in TNA right now. Yeah, man. I mean, this guy Bubba Ray really improved since like uh, what, whenever he was in 3D, you know. Austin Aries is my guy. He, you know, he's gonna carry Bully Ray to a great, well, good match. Hopefully, I uh, gotta go to with Bully Ray though. You know, he's, hey. uh, he's over. Hey, we we just made fun of two. Yeah, we just made fun of two faces wrestling each other in the last match. Now we have two heels going at it. But no, uh, I think no Aries is the face now. I think what? When did they pull this yeah. out of there? <laughs> All right, I, I missed that. <laughs> All right, but I, I, yeah, I think Aries is the guy who's going to win. There's no reason for him to lose this match. You know, he needs that uh, that momentum. Keep rolling on. Austin Aries, you're the man. Uh, uh, I don't think this TNA Knockouts Women's Championship match matters much, but we got Gail Kim and Miss Tessmacher going up at, against each other. Man, Brooke is so hot, but, you know, Gail Kim's going to win. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Miss Brooke, you are a babe. Uh, I remember you back in the... Uh, WWE CW days, uh, you know, dancing in the uh, shit. What was their name? I forgot. As anonymous Michael Brooke. Day. There you go. Uh, but Gail Kim uh, is on a roll, and uh, you're not the girl that's going to beat her. More than likely, it yeah. will be more more than likely it will be one of the women that that wrestles worse than you. <laughs> uh, my pick to beat Gail Kim finally will probably be Velvet Sky, but that's just another day down the road. Um, then we have in a Triple threat for the TNA Television Championship that is on <laughs> pay-per-view. Devon, Robbie E, and Robbie T. Man, I gotta go with uh, my boy Devin here. You know, he's, he's carrying that TV title strong. You know, putting it over as a mid-card title legitimacy. So, uh, yeah, I gotta go with my boy Devin. I don't even know if you consider this the mid-card, but they are making that Television Championship <laughs> matter. I was honestly thinking when they came up with the rules that this had to be defended every week and week in, week out on, uh, you know, an impact, a part of their new, uh, you know, 
way to get people to, to tune in. I was thinking this is honestly was going to be more of a valuable championship, almost like when um, they put it on Booker T or AJ Styles back in the day when it was at one of the, under one of its other names from back in the day. But I don't know. When you put one guy up against a, like a faction or a team, normally the face will pull this out. I don't see Robbie E or Robbie T winning this. I'm gonna, I'm going to pull it on, uh, put it on Devon. And he can keep his uh, championship role going. When they broke up uh, Team 3D, I really thought that Devon would be on his way out of the company, more than likely just wrestling some uh, smaller independents. But they've really put some faith in him as much as they put in Bully Ray. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, you know, Devin's a pretty good character. But, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the show. I mean, it, it has potential, but, you know, I can't put it past TNA. All right, well, there you go. TNA predictions for good old Sacrifice yeah. 2012 pay-per-view. Uh, make sure you get those last-minute buys in, everybody. Uh, come check out the review after the show. Thank you, Danny, and we're out.